guys so much for hosting me. I'm really happy to be up here, and thank you to NVIDIA for hosting us as well. Um, so today, I'm going to talk about Iris. We're building enterprise software for architecture and construction and um, those 3D file formats that are used in that industry. So a bit of background. Um, about two years ago, I was in the architecture industry. I was a designer, and I was a freelance consultant at a lot of different firms. Um, and I got my Oculus Rift, and I started bringing it into my meetings just to see uh, how the industry would respond. And what was amazing is like right away, every meeting we were in, they said, how do we buy this? We have, a we have a client who doesn't understand their kitchen, or they're designing a hospital wing, or we're doing something with them, and they don't get the design. So VR is such a great way for us to show them how a space actually feels. And we saw pretty much immediately that um, this industry, let's call it the building industry, saw VR as a tool, not really as a gimmick or as a toy. And um, that really caught our attention. The big problem, as most people in this room know, is VR content is just insanely hard to make still. And that's why we have all these companies around it. And that's why it really is a new medium, is it needs to run at 90 frames a second, let's say at about 1080p per eye. And um, the problem with CAD files or any other building files is they're unbelievably large. They're incredibly dense uh, polygon meshes. They're very messy. Uh, professionals in the building industry don't think about like manifold meshes or the orientation of faces or if they're building their textures right, they kind of just dump everything in there and use it to document the space. Um, so getting those files into a VR environment is incredibly time consuming. Um, our early tests when we were doing service work was like we were putting in 100 or 200 hours to create these experiences. So that's where Iris came around. We said, is there a way um, in this service work we're doing to automate a lot of this process? Can we build software to get existing 3D models into VR? And can we do it in as close to as one click as possible? Uh, we thought this was going to be like three months of work. It turns out we have about a 10-year timeline now. So it was a much harder challenge than we thought originally. Um, but the core idea is wrapping, uh, reading these 3D files directly from their native formats, bringing it through our platform, and then sending it into VR in as close to one click as possible. So here's our demo. Um, this I recorded uh, before it came out here. Um, this is our beta software as it exists today. Um, and I have SketchUp open on the screen. And you can see that um, I'm rotating around. SketchUp's used in like schematic design, early stage design um, for construction and architecture. I'm going to add a, a picnic table and a bench there. And then I'll boot up my software. We support SketchUp and Revit and OBJ right now. I'll pick that same SketchUp file. And then I'll click Launch. And this is all of our technology. We're processing this file. We're pulling it out of its native format. Um, and we're essentially getting it ready for VR. We're putting it into our own data format that is real-time ready, so to speak. Um, and that was it. So it's that file in particular, it is dependent on like polygon count and a lot of other complexities, but that took about 30 seconds to get into VR, and um, then you're in. It's a fully navigable environment, and you're able to move around. Um, you can see we had to make some design decisions because it's taking any file, we have to sort of assume that the file is gonna be bad and be messy. So we start by putting it on this scale model table, and then you can teleport in and start interacting with it. So we are uh, using a real-time light for our dynamic daylighting. Um, we have layers. We have um, uh, height adjustment, uh, some annotations. And really, we see this as our first gesture towards the GUI. Um, most of our tech is figuring out how to actually get these files in quickly and then building the GUI on top of it. So in terms of our growth, we've been very fortunate over the last two years to have about um, 3,000 DK2 owners who are mainly in architecture and construction uh, buy VR, get the sort of suffer through the development kit setup, and um, install our software. So we had a very heavy usage in 2015. We saw about 12,000 VR experiences made using our software. And uh, the important point there is we didn't touch any of, those, any of those experiences. They downloaded our own software and used it on their own CAD files. Um, and in terms of the market size, th the reason we've been uh, working so hard specifically in construction is it is the largest industry in the world, and a really foundational part of construction is the 3D model. Every new building that's built is built with a 3D model now. And um, there's so much waste in construction, just sort of inherently in, in, in the nature of it. So uh, just change orders alone were about $50 billion last year. And we see VR really being able to cut into that um, waste and being able to save a lot of time and money. And uh, to wrap up quickly, um, the business model, uh, in short, right now we are in a free beta, so we've been giving the software to anyone that wants to try it with their existing CAD files. Um, this summer and fall, because the consumer goggles are out, we're going to start charging um, per user per month. We'll also have an annual subscription. 
And we'll base it on different tiers. We are agnostic against the different hardware platforms. So we work on Vive and Oculus, and we have a Gear VR and mobile app as well. So we're going to have a couple bundles and also an enterprise price point. Um, and the last slide, we wouldn't be able to do this without a very sort of specialized team. We sort of span architecture, construction, real-time engines, uh, uh, let's say um, uh, graphics computing, and mesh algorithms. So we've been very lucky to put together a specialized team to work in this industry. Um, so thank you very much. Thanks. Great presentation. Yeah.